to exist for this year. Guess what? You were talking into the microphone the entire time and it wasn't even turned on. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Is it recording? No, it's recording now, but like you were talking into the microphone and you didn't even turn on the microphone. Are you kidding? Oh my god. The oh. microphone's turned on now so everybody can hear you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it working now? Is it working now? Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Yes. <laughs>we're just currently looking for attendees that want to share or express their opinions when it comes to Komori Con 2022. I, we have heard about what has been going on when it comes to registration. I just want to let you guys know that day two and day three looked like it was actually perfect. That it was only at least an hour wait instead of like a four hour, five hour wait according to what I've been seeing over in social media. So to say the least, I feel like everything has gone, uh, Komori Con pretty much like fixed their shit. Yeah. And at the moment, things are looking good for the last day to say. No, yeah, seriously. Yeah. So, I would say I would say it was actually pretty good. Like overall, for only three days, we had really fun people that came by. You know, had an amazing time, and yeah, it was a I would say a good Comic Con to say. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, now it's up for you guys to actually tell us what you think your experience of Comic Con was. It's up for you guys to express your opinions. Tell us how you thought about Comic Con, and yeah, that's how our next videos are going to be. So yeah. All right. So uh, first off, what's your name, sir? Uh. My name is uh, Calvin Helker. All right, awesome. uh, where are you from, I am from Woodenville, Washington. Um, and, okay, so first off, um, what are you cosplaying? There you go. Okay, um, I'm cosplaying as uh, Kirari Momobami. She's the school president in, in Kakaguri. It was pretty, it was pretty enjoyable. Like, what can I say? I loved the voice act, uh, meeting the voice actors and voice actresses. I liked the merchantile booth and getting, like, the various prints, looking at various anime figurines, games. Um, loved seeing all the different cosplays. Um, just really my only, only, uh, Real thing I was not happy with was the lines for the uh, yeah. for the uh, for the tickets like uh, for, the, for, the badges, right? for red badges were like twenty uh, like I think it was I got in the line at three um, thirty for that three twenty three thirty didn't get it until like right about around six o'clock. Yes, uh, like three and a half because you're counting the uh, getting the COVID wristband too, and that was only for me. That was only about 45 minutes for that line. You're welcome, but everything else really enjoyed it. Well, I like that it's. A little bit smaller so that you have more chance to just really get around and look at stuff, look at posters, prints, and just talk to people and not be crowded, overcrowded. Because I was at Anime Expo in L.A. and that gets 100,000 yeah, 100, people. And it's like... the. you said at Anime Expo, you didn't really know what it was. Did you expect it to actually be like so hot and so like... Um, yeah, actually, this year it wasn't so bad. It was probably about it was probably about 80 degrees this year in L in the summer for LA, which which is surprising. It usually is around like 100. Yeah, so it was a little bit foggy in the morning. Not terrible, but once you got inside the convention, especially Artist Alley, you had to go one. You always had to go one way and then the other way because otherwise you just be sardined. What? Shout outs. Um, shout outs to uh, to all my friends who couldn't be here today, uh, because I wish they would be with uh, be here. Let's say uh, shout out to my friend Charles uh, back in Seattle, aka Chewy, <laughs> and also my uh, also my friend uh, Carrie who could not be here. So 
Shout out to her. But that is... But yes, so shout out to all my friends who couldn't be here today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we're having us. Okay, so this is this is KomoriCon, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, <laughs> we're here with, uh, your names are? Gracie, Aya. Ah, nice to meet both of you. So, how has your uh, convention experience been? It's been pretty good. Lots of stuff to go to. Yes, I competed in the contest yesterday, and I had a lot of fun there. Which contest did you uh, comp uh, compete in? I was in the cosplay contest for craftsmanship. It was really exciting. We also did a skit because I was with my group. The staff that was like handling the contestants in the back were so sweet. Oh, awesome. uh, I accidentally made one of them cry because I was complimenting her. Oh my god, that's so sweet. That's amazing. <laughs> If you see this, I love you. I'm your number one we, we fan. We love you. We We're love your you. number one fan. You're the only thing that made that bearable. Oh, that's adorable. That's awesome. Um, so you two are currently cosplaying as what? Tomoe Fran fr from Bandori. Okay. And I am Himari from Bandori. Oh, nice. That's awesome. So uh, I kind of put together a last minute cosplay. Uh, yes. It, it, yes. It, oh my God. Uh, it. it, it yeah, I uh, I came here with conv uh, with my cosplay, and uh, well, let's just say that none of it fits anymore. No. <laughs> it's it's so bad because I was just like, oh, it fits, and then as soon as I get here, I'm like, no, it doesn't. Uh, I was like hot gluing things together, and the shorts like ripped halfway through the rave, no. but like, it's okay. It was a rave, so like, scandalous is part of the agenda. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I completely agree with that. Any, any form of rib clothing works for any form of rave, so obviously that works. Cosplay, I just cut the sleeves right off on like the undershirt, so it is, really? yeah, it is sleeveless underneath the jacket. There's nothing there. For the ball, um, I wore a dress and it was like a strapless dress, except the back didn't close all the way, so I have like these elastic bands keeping it up, and I spend the entire ball like this, trying not to make sure it like yeah, didn't right, slip right. down. Um, so how far did you guys travel to come, uh, to, come to Komori Khan? Uh, a four-hour drive from Washington. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. I'm from the Seattle area too, so I okay. took the train down. Yeah, I'm I'm actually from Medford, so it was about like a five-hour drive from where I was just at. <laughs> yes, there's a there's a Medford, Oregon. Uh, it's not a good place. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just gonna say. Yeah, so it's closer towards California. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the. Yeah, I know it's under. This is for you. <laughs> no, it's understandable. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't actually live near that area. I kind of live closer towards a town, but uh, it still sucks. I live yeah. on an island. That sucks ass. I have to drive 45 minutes to Joanne's. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my wife and I only have to drive like 15 minutes to a Joanne's. He lives in farmland. I. <laughs> And somehow the Joann's is closer to pigs and cows than it is a senior retirement home. <laughs> this is so unfair. I am going to own Joann's one day and open up my own branch on Bainbridge Island. Yeah, you do that. I support. I would like the support of the people on this. I highly support that, for sure. Well, uh, thank you both for your time. Yes, I, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, I was literally just sitting here like, I need something. No, it's a, no, no, no. <laughs> you're good at talking. It's, it's not a great time. It was for, it was for the cosplay, if anything. But yeah, no, it was wonderful talking to both of you. It was awesome talking to you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you can find us over at the uh, California Conventions blog on um, or KCon blog on Instagram. My my boss. This is my boss right here. That that's my. Nah, it's not that bad. Him and I are best friends, so it's all right. It's all good. We work very well with each other, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, it was wonderful talking to both of you and look forward to uh, hopefully, hopefully getting this freaking thing on Instagram so people can see it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. You two have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. So first off, what is your name? Uh, my name my name is Sylvia or Nexus Requiem online. And where are you currently f and where are you residing right now? Uh, I live in Portland. Okay. So how was your weekend? 
Uh, pretty good. The line on Friday was, you know, it was a, it was a whole thing. I'm sure many people have talked about it already. Uh, but everything after that's been pretty great so far. Okay, what do you like about this convention? Uh, honestly, I just really like the the people that I meet here. Some of the like long running events have always been really fun. Uh, I love going to cosplay chess here every year. It's super super fun. Um, there was a new event this year. It was uh, was what was it like cosplay wrestling federation? Oh, oh my gosh, it was so cool. It might be the first time. It might be the first time doing it here, but they've done it uh, up and across uh, the actually the United States actually. Yeah. Yeah, uh, their first time here, but I really hope we get to see them back because they were awesome. Uh, they were really, really fun. Is there anything else you want to mention to us? Uh, not that I can think of, to be honest. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, we've got a couple of Genshin Impact cosplayers here. All right, so uh, down the line here, I want to see your name and what you're cosplaying. Uh, my name is Kopi, and I'm cosplaying Arataki Ito. Uh, I am Bad Sheep, and I'm cosplaying Ye Miko. And I'm Cloudy, and I'm cosplaying Kazuha. And uh, you guys are from Oregon, I would imagine. Oh, you're not. Okay, so where are you guys from? <laughs> Seattle. Seattle, all right. Also from Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Seattle. Seattle folks. So we're already up in the Washington area, to say. <laughs> all right. So um, obviously, the big question here is, how do you guys like KamariCon so far? You guys can go ahead and start talking about it. Um, I had a bad time from the get-go. Um, so I had to work on Thursday, so I arrived Friday morning. We came to the, um, we came to the con around, say, 11 a.m., and we weren't finished with pre-reg until about, I don't know, like, 3 or 4. Yeah. I, I've been hearing the fact that it has been 3 or 4 hours that you guys have to wait. I've, have you all experienced it? Have you all experienced it? Or... Friday night because we had to work in the morning Friday yeah. morning so we had to drive down and get here at like four and we had to wait an hour in line to get these things and then we started walking over to free reg and they closed the doors early okay, so you came in when the doors closed at seven huh yeah, it was before no no actually it was before so seven o'clock they closed the doors at five o'clock oh what the heck wait was this on Thursday or Friday we were not allowed to attend any comp panels that day, even though we made it. Before okay. uh, well, that's really that's really good information to know. Um, but besides registration, uh, how about the rest of the con? Um, I I I'm dissatisfied with like how the staff is handling a lot of things, because there were like a lot of lot a lot of last minute changes, which I understand can be very confusing, especially for the people holding up the con. Um, but they didn't seem to communicate with each other at all and I saw them like sweeping up their mistakes as they were going. Um, we were not informed that we had to wear wristbands the entire weekend so I left mine in the hotel room. I was actually able to go into the Komori market because they didn't check my wrist but my friend who was slower behind me um, they caught her and they said, you have to go back to the COVID line to get a wristband. You know how long that line was all, is as well. Yeah, it's insane. And then, so like we waited for like 25 minutes for them to sort this out. And, and then about 30 minutes later, they had someone come and stand in front of the Komori market and shout, please have your wristbands visible. When it's like they never instated that in the first place. Yeah. I totally understand that and it's really misunderstanding. So sorry you had to feel for that experience to say. Anything else you want to talk about when it comes to Comoricon? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, a lot of good panels this year, but like honestly, like I guess the timing for some of them wasn't the greatest. So like a lot of the panels that I wanted to go to, they were happening at, at like the same time. But the ones I didn't make it to, they were pretty good. I like that. So I've also enjoyed um, the Komori market and things like that. So a lot of good artists they have around oh, this year. Fantastic artists yeah. this year. Really, really great selection of the artist alley. Love that. So did you? So did you end up spending a lot of money on that artist alley? <laughs> I'm very poor, so I refrain. But I did yeah. buy more than I wanted to. Awesome, awesome. Right. Um, cool. I think that's pretty much it for our coverage for the, these awesome Genshin Impact cosplayers. Um, make sure you also check out our um, you know, Calicon blog website. Um, my friends can give us the cards, and then you can check out the interview there. All right, here we we have a Redman and Ram cosplayer. Uh, what are you guys' names? Uh, I'm Delaney. I'm Chloe. And where are you both from? Uh, Washington. Okay. And how was your weekend here at Komori Con? It was good so far. I like this uh, con. It's really fun. What do you like about it the most? 
I just like you know, taking pictures with everyone. Socializing with like a lot of cosplayers and stuff. How many people have recognized you over the weekend? Oh, actually a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Yeah, I would hope so. I was like, when I saw you two, I'm like, Rem and Ram, come over here. <laughs> it's like, you're so... Especially you also carry the plushies too as well. Are, are those like, are, are, where'd you get those from? Um, just the market. Uh, yeah, the market. Okay, the market. Okay, wow. Okay. Is there anything else you want to mention to us? Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Well, thank you for thank you both for your time. Uh, give me one second. I'll give you my card uh, so that you can check us uh, check out an interview out uh, part of our coverage. No, oh, thank you both for your time. Hi, this is California Conventions Vlog again. Uh, with me here is uh, what's your name? My name's Eli. Hi, nice to meet you. So, um, I just have a few questions to ask. Uh, how is your experience at the convention at, uh, so far? Uh, I'm having a really good time. It's just been fun walking around, sitting in on panels. Yeah. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time at the, the gaming, I guess, gaming lounge. Uh, that's been pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, uh, I played a little bit of Rock Band over there myself for like, I don't know, hour and a half, maybe. But uh, uh, are there any highlights that you'd like to mention? Um, the AMV contest, I always enjoy watching that. That's always really fun. I'm going to go... I think in like an hour, there's like the they're gonna show the winners. Oh, there you go. So I'm excited for that. Sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> um, talk about your thoughts about KomoriCon. Oh yeah. Was there uh, anything good or bad about KomoriCon that you want to mention? Um. I mean, I guess just like I just enjoy the general of experience of being at an anime convention. It's, um. Didn't really have any like bad experiences or anything like that. No, no, not really. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That's pretty much everything that we can like. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, it was wonderful talking to you. Uh, Eli. Yeah, Eli. Eli. Yes, it was wonderful talking to you. Uh, you can find uh, this recording uh, on our website uh, slash our uh, Instagram as well. So uh, take a look for that, and you'll pop up in it. Cool. All right. This is the California Conventions blog. We've decided to move locations. Uh, I'm here with who? Lucy. Lucy from Edge Runners, of course. So I have to ask, how has your convention experience been so far? I have had a great time. Um, I've been here all three days and I just love, my favorite thing is just to walk around and see everybody and what they've done. There's so much talent right. in one space. Absolutely, I agree. There's a lot of, killer cosplays that I've been seeing. Uh, what's your most favorite cosplay that you've seen throughout the entirety of your stay here? Oh my gosh. You're going to make me answer this right now. Um, <laughs> if you have multiple favorites, it's okay. Okay, this is so basic of an answer, but I love all of the cloud cosplayers with the big sword. Yes, yes you, we do not see that many clouds with big swords walking around, honestly. There should be more. I agree completely. Uh, we should also see Vincent I don't understand why we don't see Vincent. I mean, like, out of the whole lineup of Final Fantasy VII, we don't see Vincent. We don't see... Who else do we not... Who, who else do we not see here? Uh, Fem Cloud. Yes. Yes, absolutely. There needs to be a Fem Cloud. Absolutely. I mean, I have a Fem Cloud on my bag right over there. So you get it. Yes, absolutely, I get it. Um, is there... Has there been any, like, negative experiences that you've, uh, had here? Um... There's only one that comes to mind, um, and it might have been the line to get in, um, as I'm sure you experienced as well. Um, it was about an hour and a half for us to get our press badges, so I can understand that. It was four, for me. And you know what? It's all right. Um, I would still come back and just maybe bring water. Yeah. Well, 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 well worth the wait, I can, I can assure you. Yes. Uh, well, um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us, like highlights or anything like that? Um, 
I, I just want to say that I, I love being here and it's always so motivating to see um, people who are like-minded, who love dressing up, uh, especially when there's not a lot of people in my personal life who do this. So it's, it's just great to see everyone all together here. Just basically being around like-minded individuals and just like at home almost. I don't get to be like the weird person watching anime anymore. It's everybody. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, if there's any social media that you have that you'd like to shout out to the camera, you can. Or if there isn't, no worries. Um, I'm Peachy Fry on any platform. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so this will be uh, uploaded on our uh, convention blog uh, website as well as our uh, Instagram. So uh, that's our card, and you can find all of our uh, information on there. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Of course. <laughs> no, you did great. You did absolutely wonderful. Yeah, no, you've been, you did wonderful. Thank you. Absolutely. Of course, of course. You enjoy the rest of your day. Of course. All right, I'm here with uh, Junko Enoshima, Haru Okumura. And you, you two look fabulous. So, how was your weekend so far? Pretty good. I've just been running around trying to find Joker, you know. <laughs> Uh, have we seen any jokers around? I saw one. <laughs> I saw one. <laughs> so, uh, so is there anything you want to share with us about like your Komori like your Con experience overall here? Overall, it's been pretty good. I love always seeing friends and getting to spend time together. Exactly, exactly. What's the one thing that you really like about this convention that brings you back year after year? Um, kind of like it's more laid back than most cons so it's pretty chill and you also get to have a lot of fun together yeah i'm just coming back for all the friends that always come back <laughs> is there anything you want to share with us like social media plugs anything else like that uh my at on instagram is sugar soul cosplay and mine is k is cray with a z <laughs> well thank you very much let me give you our business card and you can find our interview uh on our social medias Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So this is the California Conventions vlog again. Uh, with me this time is uh, your name? Benjamin Yoder. Benjamin Yoder. Uh, so I heard you had a panel earlier. Yes. Uh, or sometime this during the convention. It was today. Yeah. It was today? <laughs> okay. How did that go? Uh, it went pretty good. It was a decent show up for me. I'm not, I mean, I'm not anyone important. So like 20 people is pretty happy for me. I'm like, that's good. 20 people is a really good one for like a small panel or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I did the uh, basically staying positive while collecting retro games on a budget, which I was a little worried because it's an anime convention. So I was like, not sure how many people are going to be actually interested, but you know. It's, you know. So, it's surprising on how many gamers are actually here amongst a lot of uh, cosplayers, honestly. Yeah. And uh, it's funny to say that you didn't know how it'd go, but I'm 20 people is still really good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 seriously, that's actually really good. Um, so, is there, uh, aside from the panel, were there any other, like, highlights that you would want to mention about the uh, convention, both good or bad? I'll be honest, like, uh, the majority of times I go to any convention, it's almost always for Artist Alley. I love Artist Alley, and I like seeing, like, all the stuff people make and, like, the passion they have for that. And I like having, like, you know... Not long conversation, but talking a little bit with the person who made stuff and, and asking about, you know, different things. So I, I got, I, I have it over there, like the, uh, somebody had a game there called like Zone B or something like that. Okay. And I was checking that out and talking about his development process and things like that too. So that's always, as somebody who likes a lot of video games, it's always an exciting thing to talk to somebody about the creation process and things like that. Right, right. Uh, anytime I go over to Artist Alley, I, uh, if I find art that I like, I immediately just start talking to him about it and I eventually end up buying it. But yeah, no, I completely understand that. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm from Vegas. So. You're oh yeah, I I completely forgot. I completely forgot to ask that. You're you're from Vegas, you said? Yeah, yeah. So I uh, I have some friends in town. And I come out here for Portland Retro Game Expo usually, okay. um, but it just kind of worked out that it made sense to come here. So I submitted the panel because of that. So dang. So you are a long way from home. Uh, like two hour flight. Yeah. Two hour flight's I not too bad. I used to live in Georgia, so it's a lot closer than it used to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair. Absolutely. So. Uh, 
do you happen to have any social media that people can find you at? Well, yeah, I actually uh, run a YouTube channel about kind of like obscure and underappreciated games. It's called uh, One Controller Port. And uh, yeah, it's just like if you want to hear about games you don't know anything about, I'm usually talking about something that is completely out of there, outside of the usual realm when it comes to gaming. So. All right. Well, if you're into video games, look his channel up. <laughs> uh, so we have a card. Uh, I got one on me. Uh, we have a card with uh, one of the representatives of the California Conventions blog on there. Okay, awesome. um, and we'll be uploading these uh, recordings at some point. So just try to check this out whenever you can. Cool, appreciate it. I'd be glad to share it if, I, if it gets posted online. So. Sweet, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you for your time. Hello, Matthew. Here I have. Do I say my real name or what I'm cosplaying? Whatever name, Whatever name you want. Jay. I'm Emma, dressed as Makoto. And you're us. Gyo from Demon Slayer. Okay. And how was your weekend so far? Pretty good. I'm tired. <laughs> I feel that. I've had a great time. I love cons. I so what's the one thing that keeps bringing you back here to Komori Con? I just love being able to go and hang out with friends in like silly costumes that we spend way too much money on. <laughs> Um, I am a big fan of some of the returning panels that come to Komori Con. I just feel like it's such a great environment. And again, I like hanging out with my friends in silly costumes. Which favorite panel to go to? Uh, so I like the Gotta, go, Gotta Draw Fast and Anime Jeopardy and like all of the game shows. I like participating with the panels. Which favorite cosplay that you've been seeing around this weekend? I've seen a lot of Genshin cosplays. I don't know anything about Genshin, but I've seen them. They're around. They're really pretty. Yeah, they are really pretty. Oh, my favorite. There was this Deku scrub from um, Majora's Mask. It was incredible. That was my favorite one from this weekend. So Genshin Impact is a, is a, getcha, is a gotcha game. It's, it's, but you, you can play it on your PC. You can play it on your mobile. You can play it on console. It's really popular. That's neat. I don't know. <laughs> but, to, but to be very fair, though, like for every like five Genshin I see, I see like one My Hero Academia or like one Demon Slayer. Because that's because because anyone who cosplays is either cosplay from Genshin Impact, My Hero Academia, or Demon Slayer. And I have one right here. Crazy, <laughs> crazy how that happens. Yeah. Is there anything you want to mention too much? You want to plug social media? Give any shout outs? Um, donate to charity. Yeah, we don't have social medias. <laughs> Donate to charity. <laughs> all right, you hear that, folks? Donate to charity. <laughs> well, thank you all for your time. Thank you so much. Is that, can you pick up my voice now? <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure that it's on and it's working. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm second doubting myself because Dalton keeps on telling me that it's off. <laughs> Yeah, shut up. <laughs>